Uh, so my name is Ainsley and my husband Winston and I just moved from Houston, Texas all the way up to Minot, North Dakota. Um, this is a huge change for us. A new career, new house, new state, new climate, everything. And we thought that a YouTube channel would be a really good way to keep in touch with our family and friends back home. So if you're family and friends, welcome. If not, and you've just stumbled upon this, hopefully um, seeing the things that we're doing, if you're moving to Minot yourself, uh, since there is an Air Force base here, um, you can find some helpful things. Because uh, when I was looking, I didn't find a whole lot, which is exactly why we're doing this. So if you're on YouTube and you just happen to put in Minot Air Force Base, hopefully you get some helpful information. And of course, this wouldn't be a moving uh, video if I didn't do a empty house tour. It's halfway empty, we do have some stuff, um, but we're still waiting on the moving truck to come. Um, they picked up our stuff recently, but it's still gonna be about another three weeks, so I'm gonna show everyone what we have right now. This is our great little neighborhood. Most of the houses look the same, um, and they are duplexes, most of them. Um, some officer housing, they'll have single houses, but most of them look like this. We have a two-car garage, and they are two-story, so we're gonna go on in our front door. So when you come in the front door, we have an arctic room. It keeps the cold and the mud out, I guess. Um, it's a really just a small room. We've got a coat closet on one side. We honestly don't use our front door <laughs> at all. And then you have this cute little front door. And a nice big open floor plan. So this is going to be our living room side. I think we'll have a couch over here and TV on this side. We have our another Arctic room actually because of the garage. So we have a nice little mud room set up and a laundry room. We did have to buy washers and dryers on base, but uh, with people PCSing and moving off base a lot, um, we were able to find a really good deal on some used ones. So we have a mud room that's actually just um, Lottie's litter room. <laughs> um, the dining room table we also got from some people moving off base, so that was really nice. Have a nice big backyard. I think my husband's about to walk in the door. This is our kitchen. I will say there's a lot of cabinet space, but no pantry. So if you're a family of bigger than two with a cat, um, that could be a problem. You may want to consider getting some open shelving down here or using one of the, um, the mini closets <laughs> as a pantry. There are so many closets in this house. And then this is the downstairs bathroom. It's very simple. It has somehow become my uh, beauty room. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but it smells like a girl in here, according to my husband. And then there's another closet here. We just have the vacuum and some extra storage and his stinky work boots. <laughs> and it's under the stairs. This is our master bedroom. I love how much natural light comes in here in the evenings. It is a relatively small master bedroom, but I do think it would fit a king size bed and it's gonna fit everything we need just fine. We have a queen, um, but we're comfortable. And uh, there's a small walk-in closet as well. Not a whole lot of space. Um, but there is lots of shelving, and who oh no, I think it'll be just fine for what we need. In the hallway, we have some extra bedrooms, and then a linen closet and a bathroom. So this is the linen closet. I'm really thankful for this, but <laughs> she was in there. <laughs> Um, because there's not a lot of bathroom storage. There's just these two cabinets. There's nothing on the walls. 
Um, it's just like the downstairs bathroom. So um, the linen closet does help keep things kind of off the counter in there. This is going to be our office. Right now we just have some cat stuff in here because um, we're waiting on the moving truck and just extra furniture to come in. Hmm. <laughs> Such a pretty girl. There's a small closet, so it really it could be used as an extra bedroom, but we only have a cat, so we don't really need it. And this is going to be our guest room. We have an air mattress right now, but once the moving truck comes, we will have a full bed in here. And there's a closet as well. And it overlooks the back room, the backyard, I mean. <laughs> and that's it. So we do have a three bedroom house. Uh, they don't make them any smaller than that. So if you wanted just like an apartment, you would have to live off base here. But if you're married, then you can apply for housing um, and they would give you a three bedroom house. It doesn't matter how many dependents you have, which is just a cap for us. <laughs> um, if you have more dependents, they do have larger houses. I think four bedrooms, um, but they are duplex style. So even though ours is three bedroom, we do have um, like a divider and then there's another house on the other side of us. Um, we don't even know if we have neighbors they are that quiet, so um, that's not anything that's worrisome or a bother. Um, officers can apply for the single houses, which you'll see kind of scattered around the neighborhood as well. Uh, I do think it's important to add that we were married on June 8th and he moved here about a week later. And we actually weren't able to get housing until August 9th. Um, so there is a wait time. I believe they provide some sort of temporary housing or maybe reimburse for a hotel up to a certain amount of days when you are PCSing, but it's definitely easier, I think, on any base if you're married first and then you move rather than doing what we did, which was get married right after tech school. So he actually arrived to Minot Air Force Base unmarried and then had to change his orders to married. Um, so there was no way that I was able to actually live with him. I actually stayed in Houston for nine weeks after he already moved up here and we were newlyweds. So um, yeah, if you're looking at getting married or you're thinking about getting married after tech school, um, just know that there's gonna be some turnaround if you're waiting for the wrap period to get married like we did. <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Airman Sanyel, and welcome to. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to where? <laughs> I can't give the whole internet our address. One two five Delta Drive, apartment. <laughs> <laughs>